Assalamu alaikum. I welcome all of you to the basic concepts on chemistry. Today I will be discussing uh, uh, an important topic in organic chemistry that is called as resonance. But uh, before uh, telling, before discussing it, what is resonance? And what does the resonance tells us? Why is it important in organic chemistry? So all these questions, we would like to address them, address them uh, one by one, okay? Uh, and what is the classical definition of resonance? So the classical definition it, uh, of resonance is that there are many uh, molecules whose structure cannot be represented by a single leaf structure. As you hear, and I heard uh, in my basic organic chemistry classes, this definition uh, seemed very much difficult f for me to understand because uh, I didn't understand, I understood it uh, through the definition. But after some time, uh, I was able to understand those things. Okay. So, we will be discussing that how some molecule are or can be represented by a uh, Lewis structure, a single Lewis structure. You can draw a single Lewis structure for some molecules, but you, we cannot draw uh, a single Lewis structure for some other molecules. So why? So that why it will be explained by the resonance and we'll extract the things out of the resonance. So now uh, our topic of discussion is that why we can uh, write the Lewis structure for some molecules, single Lewis structures, and we cannot write uh, single single Lewis structure for other molecules, or we cannot uh, represent or present the other molecule by single Lewis structure, and some molecule we can represent by a single Lewis structure. So let look look at those two molecules, the A and B. This A molecule, as you see, it is an amine, methyl amine, or generally called alkyl amine. This is called as uh, ethene, or generally called as alkene. Okay, but th those two, F, okay, those two molecules, the A and B, they can be represented by a single Lewis structure, because this is a Lewis structure which I have drawn. Three bonds here. These are the. This is called as the. This is the Lewy structure for amine, and this is the Lewy structure for uh, an alkene. Okay. So, uh, at this molecule, a, as it is an amine, it will behave as amine. When you uh, try to uh, find, uh, when you try to find its uh, properties. It will behave like I mean, when you expose this molecule to some chemical reaction, it will react like I mean, and its physical properties are again like I mean, okay. And this molecule, this will behave like alkene, or if this is ethene, a uh, type of alkene, so it will behave like alkene. It's a normal alkene, and in chemical reactions, you will find that it will react react or it will behave like a simple alkene and this thing will behave like a simple uh, amine and these structures are enough to the represent this molecule or these are the structures of these are the structures sufficient to represent those two molecules okay so these are now again i am coming because we are discussing the resonance so again i uh, uh, i have to tell you that those this molecule a can be represented can be represented by this only uh, resonance structure or this uh, sorry this only leaf structure or this is the only leaf structure for this molecule and this is the only leaf structure for the molecule B, there is, there are no, uh, there is no other structure for this, uh, uh, other Lewis structure for this molecule, and there is no other Lewis structure for this molecule. So, it is a true or a pever amine. This is a true or a pever alkene. So, as we are discussing the resonance, that resonance can explain very, uh, something different. Those molecules which cannot be represented by 
a single structure so what are those molecules okay so let's continue our discussion those molecules the a and b they can be represented by single leaf structures now come to this let's come to this molecule this molecule has an amine nitrogen group it has a nitrogen and a ch3 this is a nitrogen and a ch3 okay now it has an alkene in the same molecule and this molecule has again an amine okay ammonia nitrogen or amine nitrogen or you can see this whole group is called as amine this has an amine and an alkene too but this molecule the d molecule it can be represented by a single leaf structure this is the only leaf structure of this molecule the molecule can be represented by a single leaf structure but this molecule cannot be represented by a single leaf structure again let me uh, repeat this molecule is will behave like amine and also will behave like alkene it can do or okay, it it will do the reactions of amine or alkene just like uh, this will do the reaction of amine and this will do reaction of alkene but this molecule will uh, react like amine and uh, you can also react it like an alkene but what about this molecule it again has the alkene and the amine present both are present in the same molecule just like let me write something this is the amine part this is the alkene part okay here this is the amine part just nitrogen is sufficient to represent the amine part but i am also encircling uh, this thing okay the c3 group and now this is the alkene so there a question arises that why this is not a paper okay the why this is, um, the molecule the behavior of this molecule is very much different than this this molecule it is not a pyramine this whole molecule is not a pyramine neither it will behave like amine nor it will behave like alkene if you want to react it it will react in some way in the mid it will not be reacting like alkene it will not be reacting like true amine but this thing will react like an amine if you want to do some sort of reaction which amine do amine does it will uh, react those and it will also react those reaction which the uh, alkene do but this if you want to perform some reaction which the alkene do this molecule will not uh, uh, react like a normal alkene because this is not a true alkene and uh, at the same time this is not a true amine now uh, we understand we will understand that uh, by, by the concept of resonance that why this thing is neither uh, amine nor an alkene okay so what the resonance tell us and uh, so in reality what this molecule is in reality this molecule looks like this these are the electrons of nitrogen okay sorry this is okay this this molecule will behave like this these are dots okay or you I am drawing it this will behave like this okay though it's not clean but this will behave like a normal I mean air normal alkene let me again write a little bit cleanly <clears throat> in reality this molecule is like this I think that those dots are visible okay this type of things so now the resonance 
will explain it or it will try to explain that how this molecule will react because it is not a pure alkene I mean, and uh, at the same time it's not a pure alkene how this molecule will react what uh, are its reactive sites uh, that will be explained a little bit by or um, up to a big larger extent by the resonance and this molecule is normal molecule but this molecule is not a normal molecule why this molecule is not normal molecule so uh, that is that is very important and uh, resonance will explain that thing to us so first of all we need to understand what are the legal moves in resonance that how electron moves okay after that we'll be able to understand uh, the concept of resonance or the behavior of the molecule so first we need to understand the uh, movement of electrons then after that we will study the rules of resonance and in the rule of resonance we will again study some important topic like electronegativity and inductive effect and their uh, how does they uh, play their part in resonance structure or change the behavior change the behavior of a molecule.